Hey guys, today I am going to tell you probably my biggest regret in uh, since 2020 was I bought a lot of Magic cards, like an insane amount. You can actually go on my videos. I, I posted most of my larger collections, but you know I'm buying collection like every day almost at my local Chase, like a smaller collection, and every weekend I would have a bigger collection buy. Uh, I bought a lot of sealed. Uh, many of the products coming from Rudy's Patreons. In fact, two of the, the larger purchases for Sealed, one was $40,000 and the other one was 38000 I mean, basically about 40000 80000 total. Uh, both of them were Patreons at the 100 level for Alpha Investment. And again, you know, maybe it's irresponsible for me to blame him. A lot of my ire and, you know, thank God they, those Patreons didn't buy MetaZoo. Not that I would have bought it from them. But is like, you know, I, I got caught with my hand in a cookie jar too. I got caught with a lot of heavy bags. I, you know, when I'm email, when people are emailing me, uh, mostly Asian people email me. And most of my deals have been, I'll be honest, have been done uh, with other Asians. Um, you know, I, I, I tell them, hey, man, I got like 10 times a heavy bag. You think you're in a bad situation. Uh, there was like one guy who wanted to have like a, a baby or something. Um well, like, why why would I buy your heavy bags? Now, would I buy Pokemon? Yeah, I think Pokemon's interesting to me. Would I buy Weiss? I think Weiss is interesting because my girlfriend and her nephew play it. So it's something we can enjoy together and share. But my girlfriend has no interest in magic. I'm, no, I'm going to have a daughter and she probably will have no interest in magic. So I'm left with, a million dollars in magic. The Pokemon, like I said, the Pokemon, I don't care. The Pokemon, you know, is, you know, like, um, for instance, my niece and nephew came to visit, and my niece is really into Squishmallows, but my nephew is not, but he still loves Pokemon. He still loves Pikachu. So I, I have no doubt the Pokemon will move. I have no concern over Pokemon cards or Pokemon product. I've opened, I own a store. I know eventually it will move. Eventually, people just love I even mean, Pokemon bulk. There's a dude who just sit in bulk for eight hours, and you know he'll come back, and it's like a dollar twenty for the cards he wants, right? Um, I have no worry about that particular card game at all, or the sealed product I have of that card game because I've already made so much money from it. Um, I own a store from 2016 to 2020, and the reason that's relevant is I got to enjoy opening vintage packs for nothing i was buying charizards for 25 40 dollars a charizard based on limited those now go for 400 dollars. like i i i'm i feel like i cannot lose money from pokemon simply for the fact that i owned a store during a period in time where pokemon was not very expensive and then it got expensive and then it got a little cheaper but i i took the ride it's like kind of like meta zoo I got in at the $100 mark, so even though MetaZoo is not at $10,000 a box, it's still at $600 a box. What do I have to complain? It's $600 a box. I bought it for $100, right? Um, Weiss is interesting. I'm definitely interested in Weiss. If you guys have a Weiss collection, now I, I hate CGC. I know you Weiss lovers love CGC, and I mean... I don't know why. It, it's kind of a shitty grading company. I don't like the slabs. I have slabs of BGI. I have all slabs, right? Um, I don't like graded. I, I don't think I ever will love graded. Because space. You guys understand. Like Space is the biggest issue for me. It's not money. I have a shit ton of money. It's not business. It's not revenue. It, it's the space that these graded cards take. Compared to a card I put in a binder. And it's just. Even a card I put in a um, top loader. I can then put in a top loader, you know, like a bin or whatever, and then it sits there. I think graded, it's like having too much graded cards, not a good idea. So back to my initial assessment, and this is something that I actually talk to my girlfriend with a lot. And, you know, she's like, oh, hey, you should just put money in stocks and put money. Yeah, in hindsight, yeah, obviously, if I could go back in time in 2020, when the stock market was at the low, low. Uh, I think the stock market, what was the stock market? It wasn't even 20,000, it was like, what, 15,000, something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, S&P 500 has done much better than my Magic cards. Now, my Pokemon cards, like I mentioned, because I, you know, I had Evolution boxes at $80 a box, 
That box is still worth like what six hundred dollars buy list today. Yeah, I mean, I bought it for eighty. <laughs> you know, it's worth six hundred. What can I say? Oh, basically, I am not upset about. Now, did I lose money buying Pokemon during the hype? Yes, I did. But in my mind, you know, I just have so much old. I have this Gengar tin I bought for eight dollars. I have like two thousand of these tins. That tin today on eBay sold for eighty dollars. It's like a Gengar champion tin and has like legendary treasure, the potential for legendary treasures in it. I opened like, unfortunately, I being the idiot, opened all my Pokemon product, <laughs> you know, from the old vintage, the cold vintage packs. Man, I mean, but I still got cases and cases of uh, celebrations and, and that thing is going up in price every day. I bought those for like $20 or worth like 50 now. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Like, Pokemon, I, I really doubt I will lose money in Pokemon ever. Even if I open every single pack, I still think I've made quite a bit of money from it. Magic is where I lost a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I lost a shit ton of money from Magic the Gathering. And it wasn't even, like, bad collect. I was buying at buy list, so at the time, it was very aggressive. Uh, what I do, in, in case, like, you're lucky enough to sell to me, is I match any buy list online. And Dave and Adams effed me up because their buy list was way too high. Their buy list was like, like insanely high, like unbelievably high. And I actually messed up big because I, I, I didn't look at their uh, quantities. I didn't really care at the time. I actually felt like, oh, the more quantities, the better, right? Uh, no, that was not the case. Um, unfortunately, that was not the case. And I learned a very painful, uh, painful lesson about quantities and liquidity. And uh, that lesson I pass on to you. But yeah, Pokemon, I, I, Meta X was fun. I had a good time. I probably didn't spend all that much money on Meta X if you know, I were to be point blank with you. And Inuyasha, I had a fun time. I bought some unsleeved. Like, the only card game that has made me... The um, only card game that has really upset me about from the investment standpoint is Magic the Gathering. And unfortunately, that's the card game I dumped the most money into. And I think it's upsetting because none of the stuff is worth anything. And we can argue about prices and this, but at the end of the day, like the buy list is my grail. Like I don't think anything else but buy list. It's not, it's not what it is, right? Like I... Man, if I had put money in the S&P 500 instead of Magic, like Pokemon, like I said, Pokemon is fine. I have a daughter. She will probably love Pokemon. I have no doubt that Pokemon will still be very popular when she grows up. I just don't know who the hell is playing Magic right now. Like every time I look, it's a dude with like neon purple hair who is like this radical leader of a social movement group. I'm just like, yeah, you know, is that for me? Is that for you? I, I think I'll pass on that, right? If I'm passing, then how many other people like me are passing? Anyway, guys, 